guys, welcome back to uh, part three of my recent convention hauls. Uh, probably everything in these next uh, couple, three videos uh, will be like uh, what I call from the bargain boxes. Uh, you know, like I say, I don't really like to talk about how much a book costs or anything, you know, if, if you spend some money on a book. But like, you know, it's uh, I really get a kick out of finding a bargain. Uh, so nothing in these stacks uh, is going to be over like $2. So they were like anywhere from 50 cents to 2 bucks. Uh, so I was just, you know, I was tickled to death. Anyway, a little bit of everything in here. Uh, so, you know, from the Silver Age to the Bronze Age, uh, probably five or six different companies. So I'm just going to start going through it. Uh, here we have uh, the Mighty Crusaders, number three, from Mighty Comics. And the publisher of this was Radio Comics. And uh, I, I don't know, this was supposed to be affiliated with Archie. Uh, but these are like, uh, like some of the first comics that the Crusaders are ever in. Or you have the Shield and the Fly and, uh, you know, all those guys. And I think this actually has, uh, the origin of Flyman in it. And, uh, maybe something else of note, uh, have art in it by Paul Raymond, who did a lot of, uh, stuff for Marvel. Uh, and a guy that scripted a couple of stories in there is a name you might be familiar with, uh, Mr. Jerry Siegel. Get a couple scripts in here. And if you don't know who Jerry Siegel is, anyway, uh, got some Silver Age, Sea Devils number 26. And this stuff is going to range anywhere from uh, reader copies to like good all the way up to like very fine near mint. Uh, but you know, a bargain's a bargain. It's a really cool uh, Silver Age cover there. Uh, from ACG Comics, uh, Forbidden Worlds number 131. Some classic Silver Age sci fi stuff. Uh, with Magic Man. From Bronze Age Invaders number 35. Uh, one I had missing in my run. Got a real nice cover with uh, the Wizard, Human Torch, and Captain America, Submariner. Have some mystery three fifteen featuring I Vampire Mike Kaluta covers uh, for the most part Tom Sutton, which is, you guys know is a favorite of mine, uh, did the art on the I Vampire series. Got some gold key, not sure about the number, uh, but you know how that is. You have to look in the indicia to find out. But you got to love these old painted covers. Uh, but this is uh, Boris Karloff tells a mystery. And another Boris Karloff Tales of Mystery. Marvel 2 and 148. And for those of you that watched my last video, uh, I said that Jack of Hearts is uh, a favorite character of mine from Marvel, so this is one I had missing. On to some Charlton. Uh, Haunted, number 39, or Baron Werewolf's Haunted Library. Whenever you want to look at that. The Tom Sutton cover. Tarzan 216, Joe Kubert. Everybody knows how I feel about Kubert. Speaking of which, Weird War, number 85. Well, Charlton, Beyond the Grave, number nine. I've already uh, rebagged and boarded all this stuff, so. Ghostly Tales, number 160, Steve Ditko. Tales of the Mysterious Traveler, uh, number 15. I think these might be reprints. Very cool cut. I'm not sure who did that. It's really a really nice cover. Looks kind of different for uh, or from anything Charlton did. Okay, we have the uh, 
Tarzan annual number one from Marvel. I think uh, John Buscema did uh, most of this. Another one of these lovely little square bound books that I'm in love with. More Boris Karloff Tales of Mystery. 20 cent cover. Unknown Soldier 205. And here's a story with apparently Sergeant Rock's kid brother, whoever that is. Star Spangled War Stories, number 199, which I think eventually turned into, they just changed the title to Unknown Soldier. But here's a, uh, here's a really nice looking cover by Ernie Chan, or Chua, however you want to look at that one. Ghosts, number 95. Number 86. Conan the Barbarian, number 100. Uh, I think this is John Bashima and Ernie Chan on the cover. Man, you just gotta love Bashima's work. She-Hulk number 11, another one of my uh, favorite unsung artists, uh, Mr. Mike Vosberg. This is definitely a reader. Uh, House of Mystery 207, but it's a Bernie Wrightson cover, so... Master of Kung Fu, number 100. This is a Mike Zek cover. In the 70s was just a great time to be a comic fan, I'm telling you. Alright, Ghost number 74. Looks like a uh, Luis Dominguez cover. A little Archie in here. Okay, Reggie's Wise Guy Jokes, number 17. <laughs> and another favorite title of mine when I was a kid uh, Plop, number 21. Ghost number 79. Here's some uh, different ghosts, maybe a little bit more lighthearted. Uh, spooky number 110 from Harvey. She Hulk number 2. Werewolf by Night, number 42. Guess starring Iron Man. And a great Dave Cockrum cover on this one. And Amazing Adventures, number 39. I think this is uh, Pete Craig Russell. Should be. On the art. I'm not sure if I already had this one or not, but nice run. Call the Destroyer number 18. Nice Pablo Marcos cover. Okay, uh, Avengers 154. 
I think this is just an upgrade. I already had this one with the uh, Jack Kirby cover and maybe uh, George Perez on the interiors. Plastic Man number 16. Ramona Ferdon on the cover. Human Torch, number seven. A lot of these were reprints. There might have been uh, eight issues in this run, if I remember right. The cool Submariner and Human Torch cover. And this one, I was, uh, <laughs> I was just, I was almost as happy to find this one as any book that I got at the convention. And if, uh, you guys remember this from grade school, you have to let me know. But I remember them uh, coming in and uh, like teaching about fire safety when I was in grade school. And this is a little comic that they, they uh, handed out, uh, True Story, Smokey the Bear. Could not believe when I found this. And this was like, it's like in near mint shape. And I think it's like from the, might have been the late 60s with like the first printing of this. And then uh, probably mid-70s when I got mine. So uh, this was... Uh, Really cool piece of nostalgia for me. <laughs> I'm not really sure who the publisher was, but it didn't matter. So, a little piece of my childhood. If anybody remember this, uh, please let me know. <laughs> okay, Secrets of Sinister House, number 17. Found a lot of nice uh, DC and Charlton horror in those stacks. And I have something from Red Circle. Uh, sorcery, number eight. I'm not sure. Uh, Gray Morrow on the cover. And a very cool cover it is. In this issue, the highwayman's escape. Die in the name of the law, enough to raise the dead, and then the man, the man who tried to kill death. I'm not really sure what this character's name is, but uh, he's kind of got a spirit feel to him. Okay, uh, more classic Silver Age stuff. Uh, real lucky to find these in the kind of shape they were in. Uh, there's Metamorpho the Element Man, number 15. Number 10, number 11, number 12. Number eight. Like I say, some of these are reader copies, but it's classic stuff. And the last on this stack, uh, we've got Richie Rich, number 100 by Harvey. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. You got another stack coming up. Uh, more of the same. More of everything. On the roof.